We gotta take off and get out of here. I'm sorry we had to flee the city map, but it was our only choice for survival. We had to split up. We were running out of food and resources. We couldn't fight off those gangs and zombies all at once. I know, but hopefully we'll be able to find a new home somewhere else. Everybody ready? Yep. All right, Warren, you're driving the second van? Right, you are. All right, follow us. Make sure nobody sees us. We're going to take the back roads through that tunnel. Understood. We're about to go into the tunnel. So far, no zombie traffic. After driving for nine hours, Oh no, our headlights broke. Wait a minute. Guys, we got company. Identify yourself or you will be shot. Is this clear? This is the Mellon Republic military. Those were warning shots. You need to identify yourself immediately or you will be shot at and killed on sight. Is this clear? Pull forward. My name is Detective Cammy Shin, um, 
Yeah, Detective Cammy Schneider. This is my son, Matt Schneider. In the second van. Driving is... Warren Medley. Behind him in the passenger seat is my husband, Matthew Daniel Schneider. We mean no harm. We are peaceful. We're just passing through, and we're looking for a place of refuge. Well, I'll be. Warren? I thought you were dead. Major Hoskins? I thought you were too. I remember the report some of the guys at military base B had bumped into you. Apparently, someone you were with shot one of them and took all their food. Please tell me that's a false report. Oh no. Major, I'm so sorry. That was years ago. We were desperate, I swear. We only took enough. We didn't take all of it. We just took what we needed. I would never shoot one of them. That's why I had to have Matthew do it for me. I could never put a bullet through one of their heads, I swear. We had to do what we had to do. We had mouths to feed. You know how it is. But you've done things too. As much as I love the military. We got cure from a hospital. An abandoned hospital. We were planning on taking it into research. We had a doctor who could analyze it, research it. But then, when your men came up, Matthew and him battled for a little bit. Then the man pinned Matthew down and tried to strangle him to death. So I had to shoot him. We all screwed up. But we need to look past that, look past our differences and come together. Please turn your headlight off. What? Turn your headlight off. It'll alert the others. Here, I'll turn this one on. Welcome to Military Base C. Here, there are plenty of dry, warm clothes, food, water, guns, weapons, and ammunition. You are all welcome.
We're sorry for intruding. Really, we are. Well, I'm sorry. For busting your headlight. It's fine. We can get it replaced here, I think. Yeah, you can. General McCroy, open the door. Anything interesting happen on guard duty, Hodgkins? I found survivors. Do you remember Warren? Boy, do I. That report scared me to death. He can't be alive now, could he? Warren was resourceful. He was an amazing soldier, but no one could be alive right now. I mean, look at the, look at the world. Warren is with a group of survivors. We need to put the report aside for now. You're all welcome. Here. Well, I'm gonna go do my p patrol. Like I was supposed to. Come on, Matt, we're safe. Hurry, get in. We need to close the watertight bulletproof doors. I'm getting a little sniffly. <clears throat> Gosh, my eyes are watering. Wow. <clears throat> Holy, what the hell? What the hell just happened? Oh, my eyes are really dry. Mm. One second. I'm going to put water in my eyes. Give me two seconds, I'm gonna put water in my eyes so they... I just got water like all over my shirt, but who the hell cares? go wow this is quite the selection you've got here told you we had guns and weapons anyways 
Why don't we all introduce ourselves? My name is General Hank McCroy. And you are at ease. My name is Detective Cammie Schneider. Maiden name, Starks. Well, Detective, to what do I owe the pleasure? The pleasure is all mine, sir. And what about this fine young man? At ease. I am Matthew Schneider Jr. Son of Matthew Daniel Schneider Sr. Put her there. You already know me. I'm Warren. Warren Medley. Of the utmost respect, I am Matthew Daniel Schneider, Sr. Pleasure to meet all of you. Anyone here have any military experience besides Warren? I was in the military for several years. I aided Mellon in winning the Mellon and Apple War. And I fought some in the Mill and Pumpkin War. Then I retired halfway and became a dormant ex-military. <clears throat> I served in the police force as a police officer in Mellon City. Wow, that's a lot. We could really use you on our team. You already know. I fought in the Mill and Apple War. And I served as a sheriff in Millentown for a long time. I'm skilled with guns and sniping. Haven't had any military experience though. I know a lot about it. My dad taught me everything. How old are you? 17. Oh, you're almost a grown man. I figured some of you had some military experience since you all knew how to do the knife hand. And salute. And as you know, I am a detective, and as a detective, I had to deal with a service weapon. And I also served in the military for several years. I fought on Mellon's side in the Mellon and Apple War. Sorry, that's one of our rifles. It misfires. That is why we have them all hooked in place, facing downward. Wait, hold on, son. You don't want to see this. That is our clothing box with our gear. Oh, and I forgot to mention. Oh, no. Someone must be in trouble. Whoa! Wait, who are you? How did you get in? Sound the alarm! There's an intruder! Phone General McCroy! Calm down, Dr. Watts. 
These are survivors. They've all, most of them, had military experience. One of them's a dear friend of mine. This is Warren. Oh, well, welcome to military base C. Thank you. And you are? I'm Dr. Trevor Watts. Trevor, that's my brother's name. Huh, is he a hybrid? Oh, no, 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 no. He's my real brother, not my stepbrother. I don't have one of those. And he's not crossbred. Well, I just thought I'd ask since Trevor is a popular corn name. Well, I am a combat medic. I am the doctor here at Military Base C. I'm sorry I freaked out and ran in here. That's not something anyone should do. Well, it's all right. I just saw him. What's his deal? What happened? He got bit in several places. We're trying to find the cure. We we used it all. And some of it was stolen. Stolen? Yes, yeah, someone broke in and stole it. A while back. Oh no. What is it? Nothing. I'm sorry for your loss. I didn't know him that well, but he was a father. Well, I hope you find a conclusion. Well, you're welcome to climb that rope. It'll lead to the bunk area. You're welcome to meet the others. There's others? Just two other people. Ooh, looks like there's a set of weights. I'll have to start bodybuilding. Well, I suppose I ought to go take my shift. Oh my gosh, my eyes are super dry. Well, I suppose I ought to go take my fair share of watch. I 
I'm gonna go first. I don't know what these people are like. So. I gotta take first initiative. Hey, don't be alarmed. Just some survivors. Yeah, General McCroy paged me. You have pagers here? Aren't those like dated? You get what you can get. It's the apocalypse. That's what I believe at least. You get what you can get in the apocalypse. Well, uh, I'm Matthew. I'm Pat. What does that stand for? Patterson. Wait, Patterson? Like, like from the war? Did you fight in a war? I did fight in a war. I was with the Air Force section, though. I was your cover, I remember you. Yeah, yeah. Second Lieutenant Matthew Schneider, I remember you. I remember seeing you. Fill the enemy with lead in your fancy uniform with all your stripes and medals. I was so jealous I could almost shoot you. But of course I wouldn't actually do that. I wanted to be that so bad it killed me. But I was also a big fan of you. Whenever I got to cover you, I always loved talking through the walkie-talkie. Whenever I got the chance, thinking maybe one day I could be known as the person who covered you and saved your life. It's nothing. Just doing my job as a soldier. I always admired the fact that you're not, even though you were kind of famous in the war, you never ever became arrogant. You always were humble and never ever made a point to make it not so. Nathan, wake up. We're in the... Come on, man. Get dressed. We are in the presence of a war hero. Can you wait till I wake up? Nathan's a sleepyhead, but he's a big fan of you too, even though he's never met you. It's nothing, really. I'm quite tired. I've had a long day of driving, fighting, and killing zombies. Cool. You could take any bunk you want. You could even take mine if you wanted it. No, I could never. Oh, it's so cool. We all just saw that, right? I didn't, like, hallucinate a Matthew super fan. Not at all. Well, I guess I'm next. Best not shroud Matthew with all that attention. Makes him nervous. I'm worried. I've heard stories about you from the war between Apple and Melon. I was intrigued by you as well. Take any bunk you want. A bunk above Matthew. Ooh, why well, is this part of this bunk all bloody? That's where Timothy slept. He's in the hospital bunk. Apparently one of the guards fell asleep and a zombie snuck in. Well, he accidentally fell asleep on the open door button. So he came in the door. Luckily he didn't bite General McCroy. Because he was sleeping right there. He snuck in here, bit one of us. Luckily, I woke up. I 
I broke one of the bars off the bunk beds and used the sharp end to kill it. I got some credits for that. Oh, how I missed the credit system here. Well, I guess it'll kind of be like the army experience. Sleeping on a bloody pillow and bloody mattress. Dude, you know you're sick and twisted. Do you? Hello. I never heard of you before. I'm Matt. Matt Jr., the son of Matthew. Oh, wow. You must know everything, huh? But the military? Guns? Have you touched a gun yet? It's so cool. I'm not a little boy. I'm a soldier as well. Oh, wow. What wars did you fight? The war between melons and zombies. <laughs> Oh, good one. Anyways, you can take any book you want as well. Extrovert much? Tell me about it. People are people, though. And in the military base, people are also family. Well, whatever. At least I don't have to sleep on a bloody pillow. Well, you don't get to sleep on a bloody pillow. I do. Keep it down. I'm gonna remind you it's supposed to be nighttime. It is nighttime. You know what? I could do with Crazy Matthew Super Fan later. But right now, I'm just tired and I wanna go to bed. Night, Ma. Ah, <sighs> good night. Not everyone sleep well. Pat, you can go better, boy. Yeah, Nathan. I just need to get done having an anxiety attack. Oh my God, what if he thinks I'm not cool? What if he thinks my hoodie's not cool? I doubt he's like that. Literally, his whole family doesn't want to deal with you right now. I know. I'm being way too overbearing. I know. I just, I should really stop. And I forgot to make this at the start because I just didn't know how to do it and I needed a copy. Here we go.
under the circumstances, this would be a really peaceful night. I wasn't worried about everyone getting eaten alive by the zombies. That was close. Luckily this gun fired really fast. Huh, we're under attack! Fire the cannon! Get the tank! Go! Patterson, you're having those war dreams again. Uh, uh, this is a tree. I heard gunshots though. That was real. Oh, what's going on? We're getting bombed. Someone got a hand grenade. Watch out for the apple tank now. What? Great. Soon this room is going to be filled with screaming PTSD suffering veterans. Ah, oh okay. But I heard gunshots. Anyone else hear that? I heard it. It's probably just the general taking care of some zombies. Ah. Matthew? What's going on? What's going on? Have they come to take me as prisoner? No! No. Johnson, grab a rifle, hurry! Mom, it's fine. We're here in the military base. We're safe. It's okay. I know, but I heard gunshots. What's going on? It's probably just the general taking care of zombies. Oh no, here comes Matthew. Matthews are always the worst. Ah! Officer Zarkov! No! Get in the bunker! No! Please! Where's my gun? On the, on the, Matthew, buddy, it's okay. You're just hearing the gunshots again. We're in the military base. It's the general taking care of zombies. God. Who is Officer Zarkov? Someone I failed. Same old nightmare again, huh? Yeah. But what if, what if General McCroy needs help? I need to go. Not all of us can fit in that tiny little guard station. You go. If you need extra backup, we'll come and get on the roof. Okay, sounds like a good plan. General, is everything alright? I just had to take care of some zombies. I need to help you. No. I heard everyone screaming from their PTSD attacks. Is everyone all right? Yeah. How bad are yours? They're pretty bad.
Everyone's gonna be safe. It's okay, Matthew. You can go back to sleep. No. I really can't. That's how powerful my gun is. Wanna take a turn? Yeah. I wanna see how you fight. Nice job. There are probably going to be more coming. We need to prepare. We need to put the emergency locks on. And make sure they stay on. We can't have a repeat. What are you doing? You at a rock concert? <laughs> Why are they so hard to kill? I hear screaming. Matthew's in trouble. He must be. Ma, leave it alone. They have professional soldiers. Oh, you think I'm not a professional soldier, son? I was in the army. I know the difference. If you hear someone screaming bloody murder and then followed by silence, that is a sign you need to go check something out. They have soldiers to go deal with that. Plus, it probably just happened for fun. Oh ho! Splatter your brains, you bloody bitch! Yep, just having fun.
I like them to get a little closer. Just think they have a shot at getting me. Hold on, let me reload. trying to do this thing you're very lucky zombies are slow or I wouldn't let you play around like that oh come on you know how this goes I do and it don't end well This thing don't die. Finally. go put that gun back and go back to bed. I'll take care of this. Okay. But I appreciate you. If I scream, don't come running. We still need to keep our senses sharp, but our war days are long behind us. At least I didn't get all bloody. Not too badly, I don't think. Now 
was it out there? We're all worried about you. Except for me. I was the only rational voice. Thank you, Sean. It's fine. You need to find out where those zombies are coming from. And get rid of it from the source. I want this place to become zombie proof. The next day. Alright, everybody up. I have a mission. It's morning. The rain's gone. And there's things that need to be done. We got places to be and bitches to see. Now let's get to it. Come on, I ain't gonna wait no more. Uh, is this even morning? Oh, get, get, get off. Oh, who's spatting your coffee this morning, Matt? Oh, something did. Pick up. Patterson, come on, man. Doing some pretty interesting aerobics there, Matthew. Do we have to get up? I'm liking some attitude from you. Nathan, you should be glad to be alive. You get to wake up in the morning. You get to feel overly exhausted. You get to feel the trauma. You get to feel it. I'm not a soldier. General McCroy always says, hang out the fort. Hold down from the fort for ya. I'll go pick a weapon. Nathan, I have a special job for you. I know, hold down the fort. No, I need you to accompany Dr. Watt. At the medical station. And I want you to do a good job of it and not complain. <sighs> sir, yes, sir. That's the attitude. Now go. So, what am I going to be doing? <sighs> Patterson, you will hold down the fort. While we are gone. Understood? Sir, yes, sir. William Patterson reporting for duty, sir. Lauren! Pick a gun, get a vest, get a helmet, get your ass out there. You're on this mission. Sir, yes, sir. Pick a vest.
that works. Get on with it. You're lucky you still have to wait for everybody else to get here. Warren, are you aware that you are holding that sniper rifle in a roof down position? You should be holding it from a ground position. Sir, yes, sir. Will do. Changing position. What the hell? <laughs> come on, bro, come on.
there we go. All right, that'll work. I get your ass out there. What are you doing? Don't treat us like privates. You'll be sorry. We'll give you more than you paid for. Ow! Dude. What? You clotheslined with me with your freaking bayonet. One of the vans rolled away. That's great. That's great news. Matthew, guess what? One of our vans rolled away. Pfft, I don't know. Maybe a zombie stole it. There's, now is not the time to be delirious. Yes, grab a weapon, go find it. Okay, fine. But only because I miss those days, you know? Looking spiffy. Now pick a weapon. Do you think I have time for this? Do you? Do you? Oh goodness. I suppose I'll pick a knife. Meet everybody else. Ow. Get off. What are you doing? Um, hello. Getting ready for a mission? What are you doing? Everybody else! Get down, get down, get down! There's only enough for three. I ought to get down there. No, absolutely not. Of course, he has to come. We need three men. You're a mother. You need to stay here. That's prejudice. How is it prejudice? Me wanting to protect my wife? You wanting to protect your son. That should be another factor. General McCoro, you need to stay here. To man the base. No, I don't need to. Their lives are far more important, Matthew. I'd rather protect than just take and take and take.
Oh, come on. Here we go. Cliffhanger. 